They are the cases that stay with investigators, often for decades until they're solved. Yeah, and one in one Metro Detroit community, a band of former detectives is changing the way cold cases are solved here in Michigan. Seven Action News investigator Jonathan Carlson is here with the story. Jonathan, this sounds promising. Yeah, they're using Facebook to bring investigators together and reach the public in new ways. They're the unsolved murders that haunt Livingston County. Their photos have appeared on billboards, but now it's an electronic billboard of sorts that investigators are hoping will yield new clues. They're using Facebook to get tips, tips that may bring peace to still grieving families. There isn't a day that goes by they don't think about her. Anna Castiglione lost sister Christina in 1983. One night they, the police came to the door and I just knew. It wasn't good news. She and the families of Kimberly Lewisell and Paige Renkowski are hoping the four retired cops that make up the Livingston County cold case team will one day crack the case. We're looking for anybody that may have seen something or if they've heard anything since that time. Ed Moore is one of those former cops who isn't giving up hope. He says all it takes is one person to solve a mystery, and reaching out in a very modern way may be key. The social media strategy has yielded tips. No arrests yet here in Livingston County. The cold case team hopes to post a Michigan cold case once a day. You see, the team has gone beyond just their own county. They're now posting statewide cases in the hopes of bringing justice to families beyond their own borders, while keeping their own unsolved crimes from becoming forgotten. And this doesn't just end with Facebook. Next Friday, those Livingston County folks are meeting with cold case investigators all over the state to share intel to start solving those cases, guys. So do you speak to family members, Jonathan? Do they feel better about another tactic in yeah, you this? Know, I spoke to one of the mothers of those victims uh, today, and they're very excited about this. They say anything that can get their family's justice is good news. Yes, I'm certainly. Sure. Thank you. you bet. Well, the owners of two dogs.